I was so happy when the story <laughs> of Robert Kraft going to the Orchids of Asia massage parlor in Florida came out that we were as far away from the podcast as possible. I was thinking, okay, by the time we get back, this will have died down. We don't. It's like kind of old news and weird <laughs> to be talking about it now because of every story that we've talked about on this podcast that could potentially get me in trouble uh, with the company that pays my employment. Like this is it. This is the one that I'm most worried about. This is the story that is most likely to get me fired. So I don't want to. De- I don't want to deal with it. You, we, everyone knows what happened. You know what? I didn't want to deal with the suicide of my friend. But I did it. <laughs> Can't keep playing the so suicide card. So I want card. you to go. I want you to break the story down for me. I'm I'm a little familiar, you know. I don't work for the NFL Network, so I'm not privy to the details that you are. Greg, do your job right now, and break the story down for me, piece by piece. All right. Robert Kraft, Patriots owner, was charged in a Florida prostitution investigation. The Palm Beach State Attorney. Uh, released <laughs> Anthony's dancing. We're not using this as our social video. We're not using it as anything. Uh, he was charged for two charges of soliciting <laughs> prostitution. That means he went twice. They caught him twice on camera. Right. He was male 13, and I believe he ended up being male 8 as well. Two times within 24 hours, and one of those times was actually the morning. Two within 24 hours? Yeah. He went back? I was like nighttime, and then, yeah, it was like 5 o'clock. This is yeah, 5, 5 p.m., and then he came back the next morning before taking a flight that morning to Kansas City for the AFC Championship game on the way to the Patriots' sixth Super Bowl. How about that? Uh, um, I feel like the Super Bowl's null and void. I think they might take it away. Oh, please. Like, this is one of the – there's a lot of things about this story, but one of the most annoying things is non-Patriots fans being like, ooh, like, what, how are you feeling now? It's like, I don't give a shit. No, what, no, you know, no, that's, it's what's like, a, that's what's so great about the story. It doesn't take away anything from the team. It's not like it's not like I don't they, root. They, I don't root for the. Like o- I don't get into, get into sports to root for the owner. I met him once. I was hiking with Jeff Ross, and he and his uh, supermodel girlfriend uh, asked me to take a picture of them in front of a street sign that I guess was the name of one of their friends. And Greg's and uh, Jeff Ross said, "Go Patriots," and I just stared at him Ooh. because but you know what? Because I could I could see it in his face. You're the kind of guy. Who goes to sex slaves? <laughs> well, he didn't, you know. So that, yeah, that that's the bigger story. Listen, is everyone is focused on craft, and it's like it's a bigger operation of that, you know, underage uh, sex workers and listen, all that, and that's all listen, serious. I don't know stuff. how old they are. I don't know if they wanted to be there or didn't want to be there. That's besides the point. The funny part of this to me is that it's a uh, it's a massage shack. Mm-hmm. That's how I'm going to say it. So my mom can uh be okay with it uh it's a massage shack you can get a half hour massage and uh happy ending it's a half an hour away from his house (laughs) he can get people to come to him i don't know if you guys are familiar with how the sex service industry works but you don't have to you don't have to take a road trip they'll come to you you know what i mean and i don't know if he was like was in love with one of them but it's hilarious to me that this guy went there to do that twice in 24 hours. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. It's like maybe he'd never gotten a hand job before. That's the only way I can think he would go back twice. Like he was like, oh, my God, <laughs> I've been doing it wrong the whole time. I got to I got to get back to this massage parlor half an hour away. Even him. I would I wish I could hear him telling his driver where to go. You know what I mean? That would be funny. Uh, Manuel, take take 19 <laughs> down to uh, that strip mall and then wait for me for 30 minutes. Way to be racist with the driver. Maybe. Manuel, I think it's a common Florida name. <laughs> I don't think I'm being racist. Uh, well, if, I, if you read, so this is all public information. They released a probable cause affidavit. You know, one thing that stuck out to me was that he hugged the woman or w- each time. So that would, to me, that was the strangest thing about like it. In the beginning or in the end? Both. He hugged hello. He hugged hello. 
there are some details. You know, it has it all written out. One of them uh, included one woman, uh, included uh, oral sex being performed, and the other one actually included two women in the room. It was a repeat woman, and uh, and yeah, it talked about massaging uh, the genitals and uh, the two women. That is phenomenal. Listen, and you guys don't have the money that I have to be thrown. And it was a hundred dollars. Yeah, a hundred bucks. He can do better. Uh, like when Jerry Jones. Remember those pictures of Jerry Jones with his like pant. Like those girls were expensive that he was with. Uh, he wasn't going to. Uh, he wasn't going to to get the uh, to get a half and half in thirty <laughs> minutes or less. Um, I think that all the o- other owners are making fun of him so hard right now. Every of every single NFL owner has had sex with a sex worker. I would guarantee it. Stop. Oh, I would guarantee it. That level of money. How about Gail that Benson? Travel? Gail Benson's the worst of all of them. <laughs> okay, Gail Benson. I don't even want to get into Gail Benson. Gail Benson's getting happy endings. Gail <laughs> Benson's getting happy beginnings. Gail Benson for lunch gets a little happiness. All right. Everyone knows that. Everyone. Erica and Emma uh, are beaming with the thought that my career is ending <laughs> with every word. No, I, I, Jerry Jones is laughing right now. What about the Packers? They have that whole thing where, like, all the, you know, there is no owner, but you can buy. Mm -hmm. a a stock certificate so there's like hundreds there's tens of thousands of owners Mm -hmm. they have like a an orgy like in the second (laughs) matrix movie where they go to lambo and they all just start writhing on each other and (laughs) then the worst movie and the worst movie scene and oh it's the worst 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 movie ever it's the most it's the most like why did you do this to us we loved you and you, you ruined us with this scene in this movie but it's like that in lambo and then at the end of it almost in like a Santa Claus type way, they have money in their pockets. <laughs> they don't know how it got there. It's 40 fish and, and bread. It's that kind of thing. It's if, biblical. If we were ranking the fan bases that you would least want to see in a stadium-filled orgy, I feel like the Packers would be dead last. I mean, they would be right there. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, agree. I, I Listen, I, I, I don't know if you guys have ever been to Philadelphia, but it is, uh, it's a dark mirror. <laughs> of what normal people look like, um, so I would think that I would I'd put the Eagles in there, you know. But I'm sure, to, I'm sure, th- I'm sure the people who own stock in the, the in the Packers are ugly, ugly people. They have it like framed in their family room and everything. Of course, very happy. Of course, but whoever has the most of those has the most um, paid for sex. <laughs> it's just what you do when you own a team. They don't have to be slaves. Uh, sex slavery i'm against it you know what i mean you want to be a sex worker that's what you want to do it's a fine it's a fine job <sighs> it's a fine job I, I i i hope for more protection for them you like you see the way they handle it in europe uh here it's starting to get a little bit better uh, i'm not against sex How do they workers handle it in europe the, it's like it's like the, they're government tested you know what i mean like if you go through the red light district in amsterdam which i'm sure you will <laughs> uh they, they're they, like they have to get tested they have to have a certificate it's like you get in an elevator it's and like in a vegas certificate there isn't it similar in Vegas? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know, either, know. Either, but but don't m- know. maybe, possibly. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> um, I know they're trying to do better for it, but there are sex workers who are like, "This is my job. This is what I do. I'm I'm pr- I'm not ashamed of it." Okay. There's people who have been abducted and lied to and kept in a room. That's that's way worse. Taken. Uh, a little taken. A little taken action. Uh, although, why would you why would you steal an American girl when you know Liam Neeson's coming for you? Yeah. Um, when you can just take, uh, you know, some of these girls from these like Russian towns where they, uh, where they, they just want a better life and they get lied to and they're told they're going to be a, a singer and then they're, they're, uh, all of a sudden they're addicted to heroin. If you haven't seen the movie Eastern Promises, go see it. Uh, it'll tell you everything you need to know about Robert Kraft. 